Hello and welcome to Folk from the Boat episode 6 where I am sitting on my roof and drinking tea after the excitement of the last two adventures. I was looking on my bookshelves earlier and I discovered this beautiful volume of Shakespeare's works, all of them in absolutely tiny print. And I looked in the front cover, it smells wonderful by the way, and it says Edith Sherwood 1896. So I thought, is that a family thing or is this a book I picked up in a charity shop? And I've just been on the phone to my mum who tells, tells me that Aunt Edith sewed her the most beautiful tablecloth for her wedding and that her brother Robert was a sea captain they used to visit. There are a lot of boating and sea people in my family as we shall discover. I'm going to have a go at reading one of the sonnets to you because it caught my eye and I hope that the ice cream van that's been passing doesn't start up again because that would be sacrilege. So here we go with number 141. In faith I do not love thee with mine eyes, for they in thee a thousand errors note. But tis my heart that loves what they despise, who in despite of thee is pleased to dote. Nor are mine ears with thy tongue's tune delighted, nor tender feeling to base touches prone, nor taste nor smell desire to be invited to any sensual feast with thee alone. But my five wits nor my five senses can dissuade one foolish heart from serving thee, who leaves unswayed the likeness of a man, thy proud heart slave and vassal wretch to be. Only my plague thus far I count my gain, that she that makes me sin awards me pain. Welcome inside and today I'm going to sing The Broom of the Cowdenos, a Scots song. It's a song I've been thinking about a lot recently because I've just recorded it in Scots with my group Wild Roses and we're a group that will always look for the earliest sources of songs and, and tunes and we'll sing in original languages. So we sing in Scots and also in Middle English and Middle Welsh and Irish and that sort of thing. So we're less in a way concerned with telling a story right now. It's a story I feel that I hope at least wouldn't happen now. It's about a girl who's raped, she tries to resist but he overpowers her and then in the end he returns and they're married and that's considered a happy ending. The the saving grace, I feel, is the last verse, and sometimes this is a chorus in other versions of the song, is the broom at the Cowden Nose where she sings, I wish I was with my dear Swain with his pipe and my ewes. So we have this note that she's not happy, she's homesick, and she misses her lover and she misses her ewes. So there's, I like that there's that, that voice for it. Bonnie Mayers to the Uber's gone, or to milk hard on his car. And I, as she sung, how a bonny voice it rang, out of the top of the nose. There came a troop of giants. And by the green gown's sea 
You lie, you lie, Bonnie May, he says. Oh, loud, I hear you lie. For dinner you mind your song last night when you were in the U-box with me. Light down, light down, my fallen lost man. Light down and your tower on. For many a time she called over for the sky, but she'll never call one again. For I am the That's in all this 